Stately Coach of the Year, uh, Brenton Hearn from Norlanga. Congratulations, Brenton, and uh, uh, good stuff. I, uh, I did uh, sort of read into this earlier, uh, probably about three or four weeks earlier, so I'm glad that my prediction came off. Thanks very much, Dad. And uh, like I said, when you get that crystal ball going again, <laughs> uh, I'd love to know what the result's going to be this weekend. Yeah, big, huge game. Uh, let's just talk about your season. Look at reviewing the season for a moment. Um, you've had a stellar season. That's all I can really say, that the way to describe it. You've had all your lads stand up and produce good quality football for you. Yeah, it's, it's really a credit to the players there. And, uh, you know, like I say, the coaching staff as well. And that goes through with the reserves. Uh, the 19s as, as well, three of them have uh, topped the, the league yeah. um, and obviously we've all stumbled a little bit uh, in the first semi so hopefully in the prelim we're all there together, um, we can all get through and they just finish off the season because it's been fantastic, you know, like I said the club's uh, rallied, uh, difficult times um, but they've pulled through, the players, you know, like I said I can't give them enough credit mm. uh, and that's what it's all about yeah. and like I said you know you get an award uh, for, you know, the State League Coach of the Year, it's very nice, and, uh, you know you get up on stage and say that sort of thing but like I said it's all about the players for me anyway. Now, yourself personally, I mean, going from Super League as an assistant coach coming down to, to State League, uh, you yourself, you're saying it's all in the players, but it's also in the coach, the way the coach handles your players. And from what I've heard is you've been a fantastic coach and a, and a, and a good, uh, um, uh, what can I say, a good um, person to be able to fall back on and a mentor. That's the word I'm looking for, a great mentor. Yeah, I appreciate that as well. I mean, the kind words. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've got to admit there's a few people that I've got to thank, you know, and I think that comes back from even a younger age with my coaches. I, mean, you know, I keep on saying these people, John McCall from my uh, you know, junior years, uh, Donald Campbell uh, was very much part of that. Uh, I've got to say Petty Action, who, uh, you know, I've, I've said for a long time, this boy is that far ahead. I mean, he's doing stuff we're doing now, 20, 25 years ago. Um, you know, Ralph Blanco had an impression there. Um, Kid, all these uh, sort of blokes, and, and the big one, Mark Crook, as well. Um, people don't realise how much development he put into coaches uh, locally. Um, so I did a few years uh, at South Adelaide there, I did Morlunga you know, 12, 14 years ago. Um, and then we did uh, Sassy there for four or five years, um, Metros for five years, and then uh, fortunately another season back at Sassy. So, you know, I've cut my teeth uh, around the place a little bit, and you know, I think you pick up things, small things there. So, like I said, it puts you in good stead for when you get opportunities like this. And I know uh, Richie's saying it's, it's about opportunities, and you don't take it for granted. But, um, you know, we're only here playing coaching for a short period, and just enjoy it. Yeah. Well, look, can I just say congratulations again. You're back up to Premier League, which is going to be great to see you guys in there next season. And uh, again, no one can take this award away from you. You're there in the history books forever and ever, amen. And it's been a pleasure to have, first of all, thank you for your support as well, but it's a pleasure to be able to see you be successful this year and and, and uh, different kettle of fish next year. But Definitely. wish you all the best with, with your next year in Premier League. Yeah. Thank you for the fun words. Thank you for your support too. Cheers. Thank Thanks, Brenton. We're talking to the Premier League Coaches of the Year, a tie this year with Earl Pudler from Modbury Jets and Amir Taraba from Croydon Kings. Congratulations, fellas. Uh, first of all, to you, Earl. Brilliant speech, simple footy, put the ball in the back of the net. I loved it. <laughs> uh, got more goals opposition, you're going to win. Now, uh, Mr. Pudler, I seem to have uh, uh, made a bit of a prediction that uh, you would be standing up there Why? receiving this award. Oh well, I, I did see quite a few of your matches, as you said, and uh, and and did see uh, good coaching. It's a long season, but uh, I think the players get the coaches over the line at the end of the year. Now you had you, uh, again. I mentioned you had a fantastic season. You've been promoted back up to the Super League, so you've bounced straight back up. It's going to be a different kettle of fish next year. Absolutely, I think Aubrey know that, and the players know that. So we're up for a challenge, but it will be a tough one. Well, you did very well this year. Uh, some key people that you'd like to thank, perhaps? 
I just want my soccer club for uh, giving me the chance to coach and of course all the players. Without the players, I would say the coaches jobs very hard. Well, can I say, having been able to film quite a few of the Mobbury Jets home matches on a Friday night, it was a uh, very entertaining football. Some very tense matches there that you had, but uh, again, it was a pleasure to be able to do that. So I thank you very much for that opportunity. Uh, thank you, Nat, for, for all your support over the year and all your filming of our games. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Emir, yourself, um, also had a very good season. Um, you're, you're fighting for it now to be able to be promoted, to win that place in the grand final, to be promoted uh, as well. So uh, how are you feeling about it at the moment? Oh, I've been feeling very positive. You know, we've beat them comments two times and hopefully they're going to be the next time as well. Um, look, on the end of the day, you know, whatever happens, happens. There's a young team like ours and they've done an excellent job this year. And I want to take the chance to congratulate the Demodri on the winning the main minor of the championship. They deserve it. Now you do, like you mentioned, you, you do have some very young players there, but uh, one thing that I've noticed is that the players have stood up to the challenge and performed for you. Well, I did, we always been, I've been doing the club the last 10, 11 years, you know, we've been pushing the young players to junior ranks and we've probably got more than half a dozen of them. And they've been winning the, the under 40s cup and league and the under 15s and the 90s, so it's been the players being all around and they, you know, they're winning all the time. They're being a big one of the club, mm. very successful. Now, I guess for yourself, um, some people that you'd like to thank on uh, for receiving this award. Oh, I'd like to thank you, like I mentioned in my speech, Connie Wall and Joe Kaplan being with me and believing me, and the, 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 the old major sponsors and the club as well. You know, give me opportunity to get the next level and coach the first senior team, and uh, all the you know senior coaches. Uh, with the, with the senior third, with the, me and uh, with all the world's supporters as well. Now Croydon King's got a huge tradition so you've got everything to play for over the next, big, well big definitely big next week. Yep. Definitely, wish you all the best and uh, again congratulations uh, gentlemen. I thank you for supporting me but I thank you for providing yeah, some great... Uh, <laughs> well, well we'll try and do that. Thank congratulations you. and thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank thanks, you. Thank you Nat. Uh, talking to one of the uh, uh, 2010 SA Football Hall of Fame inductees, Michael Brooks. Absolutely fantastic. Congratulations on uh, this great honour that you've been bestowed upon you. Thanks, Nat. Yeah, it was uh, an absolute honour and a privilege to be inducted tonight. Now look, I know many, many, many times when you were, of course, a, a, a co-host of mine on Full On Football, I used to introduce you and list off all your accolades. Well, now you've actually been able to sit back and look at them all because you have to, because that's what they've uh, been able to tell people why you're actually being inducted into the Hall of Fame. How do you feel about your whole career? Well, look, it was a bit of a trip down memory lane and um, you know, to relive some of the, the, the magical memories and moments that um, you've been fortunate enough to have in your career. It's been, um, you know, it was nice to relive some of those tonight. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm very humble, very honoured and very privileged to be, to be inducted. And of course, you're still continuing on with Salisbury Farina and doing great guns there. Uh, well, we won't actually. We've uh, we've finished runners up in the in the league, but we're in the semi-finals of the cup, uh, right. played on uh, this coming it's... Sunday. So we've still got a chance to win the cup, but unfortunately, we finished runners up in the league. Okay, fantastic stuff. Anyway, so all, all the best with that. Um, I guess uh, looking back over the years, I know it's hard to pinpoint uh, a, a great moment, but I, I guess what you said in your speech, you're playing in front of 16,000 people at Time Rush Stadium for Adelaide United must have been one of the better moments. Yeah, look, uh, there's, there's been a couple of um, defining moments or moments that you look back with great fondness. Um, probably the third goal that I scored against Brisbane um, with the header to take uh, an aggregate 3-0 lead up to Brisbane with. That was probably one of the most uh, memorable moments. Um, you know, winning, uh, being brought down for the penalty against South Melbourne two weeks later at home, there's another one. And then locally with Blue Eagles probably scoring the, the Golden Goal grand final goal um, when once you scored the, the game had ended in 2000 um, to, to help win the championship for the Blue Eagles. So, yeah, look, there's been a lot of memorable moments and uh, they're just a couple of them. Now, I guess with all players, there does come a day where you 
can no longer play anymore. Uh, what are you going to be? Are you? Do you real have real big aspirations for coaching, like getting further in your coaching? Uh, no, not not an overly great desire. I'm just moving into a, a new phase of my life now with uh, with, a, with a really great lady that um, that I'm now engaged to. So. Um, for me, um, you know, priorities with football have, have changed somewhat. So uh, we'll just see. You can never say never, but we'll just see what the future unfolds. Um, I'm open to anything, but um, you know, I haven't got any set plans as to what I, I may or may not do in the future. Well, you never know. You may be sitting there on the sidelines watching your son Luke play because great genes uh, do follow in the family. So no doubt there'll be great things for him. Look, can I just say again, congratulations. It is a huge honour. You're in the history books forever. No one can ever take this away from you. Um, and it, it has been a pleasure to be able to work with you and watch you play. And, uh, and look, I just really do, from the bottom of my heart, wish you, you know, send you congratulations. And uh, whatever the future holds for you, I just hope that you're very, very, very happy in what you do. And uh, fantastic stuff that you've been able to give to football over the years. Thanks very much, Nan. Uh, congratulations on your effort as well with full on football and uh, I hope that continues long into the future. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. you.